Welcome to part number 5 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to attempt once again to do the FR Challenge. So, long story short, I bought this Camaro Z28 Coupe and the MR2 that you saw above at the used car dealership. Hello Thomas, how's it going dude? And I attempted to do both the FR Challenge or the Japanese 90s Challenge, and Maldonado and Flynn were doing horrible yesterday. So we're back today. And now that their levels have gone up slightly, and now they've given the Camaro a little bit more of an upgrade, hopefully this time around, the car should be good enough for them, either one of the two, to win. As you can see, Grand Valley Speedway, my highest finish was second, because Maldonado gave away the victory last time. And Maldonado's gonna drive, so let's let him get take the wheel. We have another Camaro. Ooh, a 2000 Camaro, okay. That Sylvia Spec R was dominating last time we were attempting this. 300 ZX, that's going to be a fierce competitor. Alright, well. Wait, you could put mediums? Um, you know what? I just found it out. You could put sport mediums in this championship. Well... I'm going to hold off on sport mediums here, just in case the new upgrades will work. See the car in 8th place? Yeah, this Shelby Series 1 is way too overpowered. So I bought Maldonado some medium compound tires. He should have no problems fighting him now. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, well he got stuck behind the Sylvia. Nice. All right, bud. You're going to have to be really aggressive here. But I mean really aggressive. Come on, overtake the BMW. Like I said, Maldonado, if you can win this race, you don't have to pay a single dime of Venezuelan oil money for the rest of the FR Challenge. He's like, oh boy, all right. You mean I can just bring my talent to the table and not my money? All right, here we go. There you go, Maldonado. Yes! Alright, dude. Enough showboating, please. No need to show off. We get it. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice pass, dude. Maldonado did really good there. Alright, Maldonado. Maintain the pace. That shall be stuck in fifth, so we do have some room here to work with. Let's go on border Maldonado real quick. I know if Flynn's like, what the hell? Like, how the hell did he get skills all of a sudden? And on top of that, it's like, what? He, he doesn't have to pay a single dime anymore, but I still have to bring my my. Good old uh, sponsorship money. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, Flynn is obviously an American driver, so I'm trying to think, like, who could a sponsor be? Like, I don't have to bring my, my Budweiser sponsorship money? No, you still have to pay, Flynn. Sorry. I have to give Malinado some cur some uh, motivation here. I want to say courage, but it's more motivation than anything. So he can stop underperforming or stop overperforming and throwing the races away. That's his biggest problem. He keeps throwing the races away. But then again, it's my dumbass fault for making him a hot headed driver just for the sake of memes. Yeah, and, and I, I'm telling Maldonado on the radio that if he wins the race, he doesn't have to pay any more PDVSA money. What's up, Francisco? Shelby, why is it there? Because it's OP. But Maldonado is actually doing okay, I guess, this time around. Yeah, Maldonado is in Spain 2012 mode. There comes Alonzo in the Shelby. <laughs> Come on, 
Come on, Camaro. Team orders here. Hold them up, please. Dude, that, sh that Camaro needs to hold up the Shelby. And before he spins up to tempt the last time. Francisco, you jinxed us last time, bro. Please don't jinx us again. Alonso is the guy in the C3 Corvette. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Alright, Maldonado, you're getting a little bit too comfortable here. So pick up the pace, please. GP2 engine. GP2. <laughs> that Buick is one of the salvers that like, passes him. I can't really do a good Alonzo. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Well. I mean, at least we had the lead for half the race distance. I mean, it's still not over yet, but... Yeah, I think Francisco might be right here. Hot-headed is... Okay, he's like less hot-headed than we are. Oh my god, that Shelby is scaring me, man. Two laps to go. <laughs> I know. Male orange, yeah. Naranjo. <laughs> Instead of Naranjo. Oh, man! Maldonado, please! Don't let him do the bumper run. Come on, bud. You're the master of crash, dude. Like, don't get outschooled by somebody else. Dude, he's right on his bumper. Oh my god. Oh, dude, you better hold that position. You better hold that position. Ah. Uh. Damn. Oh, he got loose. He got loose. Come on, Maldonado. Make the overtake. Make the overtake. Yes! Come on, pick up the pace, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Oh my god. <laughs> Who would have thought Beast Pack would be this exciting, honestly? Alright, final lap, Maldonado. Come on, Maldonado, bring it home. GTSP, what is up, brother? Come on, Maldonado, bring it home. Oh my god, please don't screw up, please. For the love of god, please do not mess this up, dude. Dude, this is like his seventh attempt at this race. Just keep a nice and steady pace, come on. <laughs> I know, right? It's the final lap, and I still haven't messed this up. <laughs> Come on, dude. Just bring it home, please, in one piece. Come on. One more corner. Yes, Maldonado, you freaking did it, you legend. Get in there. Uh, his name is not Lewis, it's D, so I, I don't know. <laughs> yes, Maldonado, you did it! You legend! Does a chicane actually move? Well, it can.
I mean, if you're really slow, you're considered a movie chicane. Oh my god. That was easily the most satisfying B-Spec race I have ever commanded. Well, that's definitely going to be a thumbnail, for sure. It's Daniel Maldonado. Yeah, Daniel, that, that'll work. <laughs> oh, you're editing some non-GTSV videos right now? Dude, that's awesome. All right, Maldonado's clearly winded out after that long race. So, Flynn, you're going to take over. Oh, I know. For the grind, I have the Red Bull 2011. I, ha I have it ready. So that way when I go to school and stuff, because I can only imagine by the time, this, um, you know, by, by the time I have like exams and stuff, because I'm already going back to school now. So I can only imagine by the time I'm in class and stuff, I can just let the Red Bull 2011 do its thing with the endurances and just leave it there. Okay, what do we have here? Well, no signs of the Shelby, thank God. We have a 300ZX, an M3. I mean, the M3 might be a challenge, but I don't know. So what kind of non-GTSV uh, videos are you editing, dude? You have a second account, don't you? Flynn is going to get fired, and I mean it this time. So I've given him a supercharger. I've given him racing exhaust. I've given him so much for the car, and he still cannot win this race. This is the fourth attempt at this race. Flynn refuses to pass cars and he keeps on getting too much wheel spin out of the corners because he doesn't know how to manage his own throttle. It's like, you know what? I'm just telling him to be super aggressive. I, I don't even care anymore. Can I imagine B-Spec Online? Dude, honestly, that would be such a cool concept if it was B-Spec Online Racing. Because imagine how, like, imagine how funny all the drivers would be, dude. Imagine the salt online, dude. Well, I guess we just have to tell Flynn to be really aggressive, I guess. So that's our new strategy here, just make him super aggressive, and he'll win the race. He's already up to second. Normally he gets to second by the fifth lap, but now he's already in second by the second lap. Alright Flynn, you're right on his bumper. <laughs> I know, right? Instead of saying, I know, instead of being like, stupid Brazilian drivers, stupid uh, E-drivers, like internet lag, you'd just be like, Flynn, what the hell? Or, Barnes, what the hell? Pap, what the fuck? Just got the PS2 controller, now I've got the PS2 save game that you gave me for GT4. Just got greeted by a Chapro 2J race car, thanks TMC. Ah, oh, you're welcome! <laughs> I don't even remember having the 2J. That's how long it's been since I played GT4, dude. Alright. Well, Flynn is at least in second this early on in the race. So it gives me a little bit more hope that he'll actually pull off the job this time. Yep, if I remember correctly, the way I did in Beast Pick was telling Bobs to go faster. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way that this works here. Like, as Sakuba, you just have to tell him to be super aggressive, I guess. Speaking by GT4, just did the last few days all the licenses easier than I expected. Oh, really? Maybe I should have told him to slow down there. Uh, 
Well, I'm gonna have fun with 361 cards in the game. Chat you later. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by regardless. Say hello. Dude, if you see him spin, don't spin with him. Okay, well, they both got tail happy. Yeah, the US version's Nurburgring licenses aren't that bad. It's the Japanese one that's really bad with the Salber. But I don't think I'm going to do the Japanese version just because of how much is cut from the game. Well, not cut, but how much didn't, you know, how much was eventually left out once the US and European versions came around. I was like looking around the menus and I counted. There's like 10 cards that are missing. And like half of them are just cards that I'm, I don't really personally care about too much. But the other half, like the Pojo 9 of 5 and the 2J, that's different. Wow, Flynn, you're in the lead by the fifth lap. All right. Well, I mean, I'm still pretty disappointed in your performance, but you're in the lead finally. I gotta get him to calm down now. Now he's in the lead. He doesn't need to be aggressive anymore. Hallelujah intensifies. I know, right? One more lap, Flynn. Can you finally win this race? Only a few more corners to go. Two more corners, counting this one to be exact. You almost have it, dude. Come on. You almost got it. Come on, just one more corner. Give me a good, a good solid final run. Come on. About time. Like, I'm not even excited or happy not like when Maldonado won this was just stupid and that's why Flynn you're garbage Maldonado is officially the team leader and almost to level 11 and Flynn is now level 9 Well, Trial Mountain is the last race. Okay. Now, I think we can remove the upgrades depending on what the competition is like. G35, M Coop. Nope. We got to keep all the mods. The Series 1, ugh. And it's starting in 4th. Nope. We got to keep the mods. Oh, and look. There's an RX-7. Finally. Finally. All right, Flynn. This is Trial Mountain. 
This is a much bigger track. You should have no problems here. Jesus Christ, that's Shelby. The G35 back marker is just holding us up big time. Come on, race control. Give him the blue flag. The Prowler's holding us up as well. There we go. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Exactly. We should outrun him on the straightaway here. And hopefully catch up to the Shelby. How fast is he going? Same speed. We're going faster than him. Oh, yeah. We'll be fine. The upgrades were definitely necessary for this race. Although we did beat the Shelby without the upgrades with Maldonado... Flynn, so far, has been less than impressive than Maldonado was. So he's going to need the upgrades for sure. And what helped us last time was that the Shelby was in 8th place. The Shelby started 4th and went to 1st, even before the first corner. Kind of like that one Mika Hakkinen started at Nürburgring that one year. I think he went from like 3rd to 1st. Take him? No, I don't think he has enough to overtake. Nope. So just maintain. Just maintain the pace. Wait, why am I telling him to overtake? He's not even close enough. I gotta make him overtake on the backstretch, not here. Oh, he's going for it. All right, overtake now, please. Come on, you got it. You got it, there we go. Over the bump. And that Shelby one is really good. Yeah, Flynn's too hot-headed to cool down. So I'm not really surprised that he didn't obey the orders. At least get him in this corner, Flynn. Oh, dude, you were right on his bumper. Take it easy. Come on. GT5. Yes, sir. Koisa the noob. What's up, man? How's it going? Flynn? Why are you slowing down so much? For the love of God, overtake him on the bad stretch, please. How fast is he going now? Almost 10 miles an hour faster by the top of the hill. So if we can get him to just calm down through this section, 
and through like the middle section of the second sector, I think he'll be fine. Halfway distance, got three more laps to go. See, I don't understand that. Like, he hits the brakes so hard, at, like, in the exit, and then shifts down, and then immediately shifts up. Like, his shifting is so god awful. Like, I'm surprised he hasn't gone in reverse yet. Oh, you play GT6? Nice! GT6 is gonna come after GT5 for me. For my Let's Plays, but that's not gonna be anytime soon. Neither is the actual GT5 A spec. Like, that's not gonna come right after this. I'm just playing this because it's like... I'm not really in the mood to do any driving these, like, last couple days, honestly. So, that's why I just kind of, like, did the B spec. Oh, and thank you for subscribing, dude. I appreciate it. Yes! Alright. I think Flynn was just taking it easy. And now he got the job done. Okay, now he can maintain his pace, I think. I think. <laughs> pace down. Yeah, actually, no, they didn't. They they brought back B spec in an update, but B spec is not mandatory. Two to go. Yeah, dude, like, if they kept developing it, it would have been really good. I, th I think GT6's B-Spec isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. But... But, yeah, I mean... What I like about 5's B-Spec is at least, like, the driver emotion is a big thing. Which, you know, if the AI was, bit, was a bit better and actually listened to your commands, then... This would be so much better. But, you know what? Now that I've been playing it for a little bit more, it's still fun. I mean, yeah, I have my moments. I have my moments when I get really mad, but that's because you know Flynn d refuses to overtake a car when he has the opportunity to. But when they actually put up a really good fight, then at that point it's really satisfying when you can lead them to victory. Well, he's maintaining a good gap between himself and the Shelby, at least. Final lap. Bring it home, Flynn. This is it, Flynn. You can help win the FR challenge finally after almost a whole day of trying. 
obviously this video will be about 30 minutes long when you watch it on YouTube for the featured YouTubers that watch it, but yeah, this took quite a while in order to win. He's flying. Flynn, taking it easy, nice. Only this corner and the chicane to go, bud. You almost have it. Oh my god, finally, it's over. Thank God. Wow. All right, Flynn, you're not fired anymore. Level 11, woo! So we gained two levels after the multiple attempts of doing all the FR challenge races. And now let's go claim our brand new prize, whatever the hell it is. A spec and B spec professional events can now be played, which technically doesn't, it's not true because you obviously need the specific level. Three B spec drivers, ooh. FT86 G Sports concept. Nice. All right, let's go get it delivered. It's in a really nice purple color too, hell yeah. Whoops, wrong button. Meant to hit garage. And here it is, 472 performance points, nice! That is a wicked color, honestly. Alright, so next time on Gran Turismo 5 Beast Pick, we're going to be doing our second attempt at the Japanese 90s challenge.